You know, Junjae, with all that's happened, I never got to thank you for helping me become as good at Slug Fu as you. Then perhaps you should wait a little longer to thank me. Until you are actually as good as me. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? How about it, Stunts? Wanna show them how good we are? <laughs> I challenge you to a trick shot competition. Think you I can do it? None but a slug fu master can beat a slug fu master. I'll take that bet. <laughs> Come on, Junje. Show this scrub how a master fools his slug. Three banks off the cliff. <laughs> off the mushroom. Direct hit. <laughs> Time in the Molinoid. Wait for it. <laughs> and nothing but can. Not bad, huh, Trixie? Sorry, wasn't looking. Now that the Eastern Data Stream's been restored, there's lots to check out. Like, it says the cavern we're in right now has a famous legend about a giant rock creature called the Pyrider. Did you ever hear that story, Junjay? Once in my youth. But I was too busy training for real threats to bother with such myth. You call that a myth? So, does that thing look just like the one in your story? Giant monster carved out of a rock? Yeah, I'd say it matches the description. Ha-ha! <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they... <laughs> Super speed and immense strength, just like the legend says! Taking down an overgrown statue would be pretty masterful. Hint, hint. Yes, it would. Allow me to demonstrate. Eli so got this. Well, then perhaps we should make this interesting. Say our usual wager? Yeah, you're on. Time to step our game up. Good too, Pronto. Nada. Nah. Nice slinging, Eli. Uh, guys. Where'd that come from? <laughs> oh yeah. I remember that weird dude from the tournament. He's helping us. Weird or not, he did it. You talking about me? No. Well, yeah, but, uh... Talk later. I've got it on the run. <sighs> well, he was creepy. Oh, don't mind him. Sleeps a bit. Unusual, but then you guys aren't exactly what I'd call normal either. Well, thank you very much. What were you saying about Sleet? 
He's been protecting us. We haven't been able to mine without that monster showing up. The caverns depend on these Aurora's energy crystals for power. But this Sleed, did he not previously work for the Emperor? Look, nobody's perfect. And that Emperor stuff is water under the bridge. He keeps to himself, comes when we need him, and all he wants is a crystal or two for his service. Besides, didn't you used to work for the Emperor? That is also in the past. I am no longer under the Emperor's control. We only wish to help. Thanks, but Sleed's got this cavern covered. You talking about me? Uh, only good things. Any luck out there? Nearly had it. The pyrite ore fled south to his den in Flowstone Cavern. It too risky to follow him inside. If you need me again, I'll be close by. And that was also creepy. Sleet said the monster lives in Flowstone Cavern. Where is that? Not far to the south. If you five could stop the pyrite there before it attacks again. Say no more. Pronto gives his word that he will employ his many talents to bring this monster down. To the south, then. Pronto, south is the other way. <sighs> <sighs> now go get him. According to the legend, the Pyrider first made its home in Pyrite Cavern a thousand years ago. Wait. Pyrite Cavern is north of the mine. Why would the monster be living south, away from its home? Perhaps it moved? That legend is very old and likely only partly true. Question is, which parts are true? <coughs> I believe you still owe me for that last bet. Molinoids always pay their debts. <coughs> Unfortunately. Ah, you see? This is not so treacherous. How about we keep it down so we can keep those things up? Uh, gang? Did you see these? Looks like we're in the right place. It sounds that way as well. I guess the legend was wrong. That's the end of the tracks. But no monster. Then where is that noise coming from? Whoa! Everybody, heads up! We've been tricked! <laughs> Pronto! Watch out! Oh, thank you. Pronto thought he was done for. We've got to stop them from making the lava rise any higher. I have halted two of them. for me, but who's counting? Who keeps more up there, Eli or Junjay? Uh, Junjay! Wait, no, Eli! Wait, Junjay! <laughs> Fifteen more. You've got some catching up to do. Uh. Twenty-three. But who's counting? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Good old Junjay! <laughs> Pronto never doubted you. Uh, guys? If you guys are done slinging your slugs around, can we go now? No, 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 no. I knew something wasn't adding up about Sleed saying the monster's lair was to the south. Let's head back to the mine first. If Sleed set that trap for us, I want to know why. Eh, eh, I believe you lost our little wager, my cave troll companion. Yeah, yeah, hand them over. 
All one stinky, clean, and scrubbed. Although, to be honest, that stank of his ne never really comes out. <laughs> The creature! He has returned! So hold on, Pronto. Let's see what we're dealing with. Strange. The monster makes a great deal of noise, but does not seem to be causing any damage. It's like he's trying to be extra monstery. Sleed. <laughs> Every time he chases the monster away, Sleed gets more crystals. And none of our slugs made a dent. So why to his? Let's find out. from the blast. We're gonna have to continue on foot. Hey guys, come on. There's a clearing up ahead. He must have gone in there. Check it out. I did some more digging on the data stream and found tons of loose bits of info on the Pyranor. There's some really old drawings, folk tales, and... What's this? Looks like some kind of ancient poem. Deep within the caves of Or lives the monstrous Pyrrhidor, whom from Crystal Cave sees the land that his people held in their hand. But the mad emperor who controls from his tower sees the Pyrrhidor and fears its power. So he places a curse upon the beast, commanding only crystals from this cave you shall eat. And ever since that fateful day, in his cave the Pyrrhidor does stay. This is amazing! There's so many scattered details, but but they all come together. There's even mention of the Emperor. This is all certainly fascinating, but don't get too caught up in myths and legends, Trixie. If he had been around for thousands of years, he surely would have encountered my ancestor, Yang. And I am certain I would have heard more of this great, powerful monster. Ah, uh, yeah, guess you're probably right. These are more likely all just tall tales blown out of proportion from one generation to the next. Sleed must be taking advantage of the poor creature for his own gain. <laughs> oh dear lady, you couldn't be more wrong. A pity my little trap in Flowstone Cavern didn't finish you off. But no matter. Now that you've entered my home, I can make certain you will not be leaving. Whoa! Wait, the monster is behind all this? You mortals are all the same, even after a thousand years. <laughs> Incapable of seeing me as anything but a monster! So the legends must be true! Brilliantly deduced. <laughs> I wonder what tipped you off. Ever since the vile Emperor cursed me to be reliant on the power of the crystals of this cave, I've been dealing with you parasites crawling all over my home. But now, with the Emperor out of the picture, I can feel the curse fade with every crystal I consume. Soon, 
I'll be free from this cave to roam and conquer the land once more. I have even found a rather useful right hand for a human. You talking about me? I played my part in the mine to get what I wanted. But I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Nothing but blasting is doing anything! Good idea, Burpee. This thing is made of solid rock. A fusion of you and Bludgeon should take it down. <laughs> Standing? Crystals. No! Whoa! Oh, hey. He's powering up again! Much better. Sweet! Don't just stand there! Get more! If he gets that monster more crystals, we're on it! Open the door. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> no, we've got you. <laughs> you live here? What? What's wrong with this? Nothing. Uh, fits you perfectly. You will not escape. <laughs> Then again, maybe you will. If you need crystals, I'm sure you and the miners could work something out. I would rather lie dormant for another eon. I find your kind sickening. Yeah, because the one of us you know best is Sleed. <laughs> Were you talking about me? <gasps> Sleed! The door will not budge! Bet you I can open it with one hand. Ha! Not even you have such strength! <laughs> Did you know? Easy. It's the only thing in here that's clean. That's more like it! Yeah, that went well. We gotta make it use up its energy, then stop it before it can recharge. There's got to be a shot one of us can do that will make it burn off all its energy. Each of our attacks caused it to expend some of its energy. Perhaps a precisely coordinated combination of both our slugs at the same time? Whoa! A slug food combo shot! Dream about it. No, it can't. 
can't end like this. I am legendary. And just like most legends, your story's got a happy ending. Well, for us anyway. Wait, sweet! Hope to see y'all again real soon. <laughs> Whoa! Thanks to you lot, we can now mine the Aurora's crystals safely and without interruption. Uh, too bad Sleep managed to escape. Although I can't say I'm gonna miss the uh, aroma. There's not much to worry about with Sleed. The creature was the real threat, and Pyrite Cavern has been sealed up for good. Which means the Pyrite should stay asleep in there for a long time. Just as it's said in the legend. You know, it wasn't Eli or Junje who took that thing down. Then how do we settle our wager? A Molinoid always settles his debts. I know just the thing. Uh, the smell! <laughs> 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 